Hey guys, it's Red Nomster, and today I'm back with yet another installment of Most Realistic. Now, like I said, this is an installment. A lot of you guys wanted a series out of this, but more or less, this is not an episodic event, which is what a series is made of. Uh, this is not a linear progression type thing, like as in a series. This is more of a sporadic type thing where I uh, incorporate a bu bunch of different proof of concepts throughout different types of videos. Uh, so it's basically just going to be its own playlist on my channel. So it'll still be convoluted into one center area, uh, so you guys can watch them in bulk if you feel like. Um, but yeah, no series out of this, no episodes, this is what we got. But that out of the way, uh, I made a washing machine. And like I said guys, this is basically just a proof of concept due to the fact that most of the things in this playlist will be highly impractical, this being one of them, due to the fact that how much redstone it takes to make something, you know, realistic in survival and stuff like that, you know, there's no resource packs being used, uh, and stuff like that, uh, it takes, uh, work. And basically it's more of an in-game type thing that you put in aesthetically, uh, when you have the resources for it and stuff like that, just to show off to your friends and stuff. Now, one of the reasons this is impractical, is because the amount of redstone used, and also uh, one of the reasons that this is uh, a proof of concept is due to the fact that it only washes leather chest plates. Uh, there's no leather pants or hats or boots involved. Uh, you could set it up for that, but the redstone works now, and doing more redstone wouldn't really prove anything for it because it's already a proof of concept. <laughs> so that's the point of this. So basically what you do is you grab whatever type of average clothes you have laying around, you toss them into the washing machine just like so you would do in real life. And then we have this little uh, blue selector panel right here that makes noise when you push it. Yeah, it's kind of faint, but it raises in pitch and it basically doubles as the water inside of the washing machine. I tried. <laughs> um, but basically uh, it makes a higher noise and when it stops making a high noise, so we'll just listen real quick. Boom. <laughs> so when it gets to the low pitch, uh, basically that means it's at the beginning, and that is purple. It goes purple, cyan, light gray, gray, pink, lime, light blue, and orange. Now I know there's nine leather dyed chest plates possible, but I didn't add magenta because item frame selectors can only do a possible eight different orientations, so that's that. <laughs> Sorry, magenta. Anyways, uh, so what we want is pink, and that is uh, one, two, three, four clicks. Yes, and then we hit the button, and then when we hit the button, we look inside of our fancy little washing machine that is appropriately titled, and then we will get uh, our leather tunic and then of course pink dye. So we wash the dye right off. Now that's a little bit different from a cauldron due to the fact that cauldron will not give you your dye back, so as you may notice already, this does not use cauldron's washing armor. That being said, this is basically just a modified version of a item frame selector that is attached to an end gate that then goes into a, you know, storage system for dyes and leather armor. Uh, each one of these dispensers has a specific uh, type of dye in them, which is what the item frame selector is for, and then uh, we always get a leather chest plate back. Now the way the redstone works basically is a comparator is coming out from the block that has the item frame on it, which then tests the d eight different orientations of the item in the item frame, and then it goes into this selector. Now the selector will be linked in the description, it's made by Generic B, uh, it's been around for a long time, so I'm not going to show how it's made considering there's already a tutorial out there, and you guys will probably enjoy it a lot more anyways. So the item frame selector basically gives us a separate off torch each one of these. Actually it's a separate on torch, but I'm, I need the inverted signal for the piston. Uh, so basically, this is pink right here. It's attached to the pink dispenser. Now, all of these torches will turn off if this redstone line turns on, and this redstone line is activated by the button that we pushed, so that can be simulated by just putting a torch right here. So as you can see, the only piston that retracts is the one that's next to the two off torches, because it's tileable like that. Uh, this torch is on, so this piston still retracts just like all the other ones, or it still extends just like all the other ones, but this one and this one are both off, so the piston then retracts and pulls up the cauldron. And that's kind of funny, I suppose there still is cauldrons involved with this, somewhat ironic. <laughs> uh, but the cauldron full of water is then going into this comparator, and that comparator then activates this yellow block, which then activates the repeater, and the repeater activates this line of redstone, which then activates the dropper that gets the leather tunic into the hopper system. Now this yellow block is also attached to uh, this little dropper right here, which is attached to the pink dye, just like this block is attached to the other one. Uh, like the other dyes and stuff like that. Uh, it's gonna shoot out another one. <laughs> basically we'll have two tunics in there. Uh, but basically it just all goes into this hopper system which then runs straight back into this dropper at the beginning. Like so. And then of course uh, this hopper is a transparent block so it does not cut off the redstone which w is what made that possible I suppose. 
Otherwise, I'd have to make that go to a different destination other than that dispenser, which would make it look weird and not look like a washer. So that worked out quite well. One quick thing I want to note before I end this video is that I'm using cauldrons instead of redstone blocks due to the fact that redstone blocks will bud these pistons if they're right next to each other, but cauldrons do not, so it's a more compact way of doing it, uh, making it a lot more smaller. Even though it is quite a bit of redstone, compared to the, you know, the ones over there, uh, even the furnace one right here, the redstone is actually repeatable, and you can uh, continue it all the way out to the 8 length that is possible of the item frame selector. And also, uh, because it's a, basically just a modified way of storing your items, all of the leather tunics that you leave are also stored in this chest. That way you don't waste your items. You never really use any items in this, you just rearrange what you already have. So it's basically not a waste of resources other than building it, I suppose, if you consider it a waste. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I guess that's all I really have for this video. So if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like, and of course subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you in the next one.